the anti-Semitism uh, issue, the smears uh, that have gone on in the Labour Party, uh, will it heal? Will that will that whole issue heal? Well, Jackie Walker um, made a video this week, um, and I'm bringing Jackie back on again. So, how you doing, Jackie? I'm still fine. You're still fine. Now I'm trying to find how I can... Uh, yeah. Right, there you go. Um, right, so uh, now you made a video this, this this week that's got lots of attention. The, the basis of your video, I'll, I'll just go through this with you. Um, back in, I don't know, is it 20, I've got the dates on here. This is in 2018. Um, Ash Sarkar of Navarra Media uh, wrote, I think Jackie Walker is a crank, to be honest with you, and characteristic characterising proceedings as a witch hunt helps absolutely no one. Uh, also, this is on, on the this same Navarra Media channel is Rifka Brown, who wrote in 2020, as well as being a nasty Jew beta, Chris Williamson is derailing a much needed conversation about the EHRC's credibility. Anyway, calling him a Jew beta. Um, the, the, the thing is, uh, those comments were made um, and I mean, they're pretty, un they were very unhelpful to you. I mean, you must have had a lot of um, people trolling you on, on the back of that or, or jumping on that tweet. Uh, so it must have been very unpleasant for you. But this week, uh, last week, Ash Sarkar has uh, made a video um, with Rifka Brown, who said that thing about Chris Williamson. And this is what, was, what Ash Sarkar says in that video. And I think that one of the things that is really important to say is that it was a really powerful thing. I think the the intensity of the moral panic, and a lot of it was a moral panic, and the fact that it was uh, whipped up leveraging racism, it really made me feel on a very personal level, very guilty. It made me feel like, oh my God, what have I been about? part of what you know what should we do about it because that's a human response it's a human response so i think feel that any accusation of racism deserves to be taken seriously but there were people who were being accused of being racist who did nothing wrong and it's really sad to see that it's happening again it's really awful um to see that um you know there there are people who who um are being hounded for the rest of their political lives, it mm. seems, because mm. this was a strategy which worked very well the first time around. And I think that, yeah, one of the things that I personally regret is that I'm able to say this stuff now, I'm able to like shape it into thoughts and articulate it. But at the moment when everything was really intense, I felt very paralysed. That's something which I regret. I regret personally. So uh, Ash Sarkar regrets uh, her not being able to see this before. Um, and you, but you put a video out this week uh, in which you show you say you you forgive her for that and you want to kind of move on from it. Can you tell us what led you to to make the video? Um, well, there's a number of reasons I made the video. One is. I didn't think it was right to let them get away with just saying that. And I don't, I think most people would have missed it. And I knew I had a, a platform strong enough to actually highlight and get the conversation going. And it did that. And I'm really happy with that. But can I just say, can we be careful about when we say forgiven? Because if we use those words, we're doing the same mistake that Ash the Car makes and continues to make. Because if you are a political activist, if you're a political commentator, your personal feelings are not what it's all about. It really isn't. I can tell you how she made me feel. I can tell you how she made me suffer. I can tell you what she allowed people to do because of the cover, her and the people she works with at Navarra Media gave the people who perpetrated the attacks. But what we are is we're being political. And if you have the proper politics, you would never make 
those mistakes. So number one, what it shows is the actual inexperience of Navara Media. And, and one of the problems with Navara Media, and they make this mistake again and again in their politics, is their ageism. You know, mm. they have the arrogance of youth. And what they thought was, look, let's get rid of those old folks. They've got nothing to tell us. Well, actually, we did because our political education apparently was a darn sight better than theirs. So actually, what we have to say is, when I when I say or don't say forgiveness, that's not nothing to do with it. This is about the politics of what our movement needs. And what our movement needs is for the left to be in some solidarity with each other. But it doesn't stop here. If Ash Sakar, if if all of them, you know, they've all done some pretty awful things in truth during that that terrible time when we were really up to our necks in in the blood and the guts of what this was about then actually what they should do is no it's not just good enough to say i really regret doing it that i couldn't construct the words the words that i needed to defend you know no that's not what it's about what they need to do is to actually put on a platform some of those people that they helped ensure didn't have a platform and won't, in many cases, get a platform again. And, and that shows real political understanding. That's what we should be calling out for. Uh, yeah, and, and, you know, some people, since you made that... Um that video have sort of said oh you've been hoodwinked they don't they're not at all different and stuff like that it doesn't sound like you're any and under any delusions of that but what do you think would be the way, best way forward would it be to, for jackie walker to be on navara media well i think what i'd like to do and i'm announcing this today and i haven't talked to with any of the editorial board of red line but I think we should be inviting a representative of, of uh, Navara Media, because I don't think we should make it difficult for them to do it, to come and have a constructive and useful conversation with us about what happened and where the way forward is, that we could then actually show um, and, 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 and screen and put on properly. So I think if they're serious about this, if, if you know this was so such a painful time both then and now because you know she's obviously deeply sorry for the pain that she has caused and the political no doubt the political destruction she caused I mean she didn't say that but you know now that they're now calling this a witch hunt which is why they called me a crank for calling it a witch hunt now that they have seen the light I would expect that that was the least of what they would do so I am holding out that hand of friendship. You know, it's a first here on the Andrew, and uh, not the Andrew Marr show, to invite anybody from Navara Media to come and have a grown up, comradely discussion about this. Um, yeah, so I, I just want to, to, uh, to, to ask you, what, what do you, what do you think about uh, this ageism thing? I mean, I, I I, did you see the discussion about the Merseyside Pensioners Manifesto? I mean, they they have so much information about where we were in the past and what society can be like. It seems crazy to close off a, a particular age group because you think they're not. Um, I don't know why the reason they do that, but um, we who are older. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm I do remember a bit before Thatcher. Oh, I was a boy, but. Um, that I, you know, we should be listened to more. I can't find, I can't really understand this, 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 this ignoring people who've got experience and wisdom. Well, it's really quite shocking, and again, it makes me wonder where their socialism is, because socialism surely is about being inclusive, and it's about wanting to hear the voices of everybody. And yet, they, you know, all their presenters, and I, I'm going to say this, are of a certain age and really of a certain class as well. And I think probably as well of a certain background. So they're kind of replicating 
the elitism that we see in the mainstream media, but just in a different way. Well, you know, it's time to break out of that. If you've grown up enough to have noticed that destruction that was wreaked by the comments and the interventions that you made during the height of battle, then that is also part of it. Reach out to older socialists, people like me. We lived through Thatcher. We actually lived through Enoch Powell. We were there. We mm. were actually there. And you can read as much as you like, and it's great. You know, it's very fascinating to read reports. But there is also a difference between reading about it and having experienced it. That's what yeah, I mean able to know and understand you know what made me able to spot this as a witch hunt very very early on to be honest was the fact that my mother had been through the McCarthy witch hunt now this is valuable this is like you know this is like like fine wine and they 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 throw it out and they they treat it with disdain in fact the only real comments you'll get on it is how people of our age group are so much better off uh, because we, you know, we got houses yeah. and houses. Well, yeah, yeah, but let's complicate this a bit more. Let's let's all actually work together. Yeah, and they will be old anyway as well. That's the other thing. I mean, they're heading to be old at some point, um, and then and then what do they? What they'll get back? What they they've done? So they'll say, oh, we don't want to hear about those old Navarro media lot who go on about the 2010s or whatever um thank you jackie uh, i hope i hope to hear about this uh this new show on red line tv when you get navarro on there yeah, and, and yeah. it's got to be a hit thank you thank you